I think the future of sampling is, is you know, is so much music out there. If you actually are under the radar, I think sampling can help you understand the best of musicianship at a particular time and learn how to put them together. And uh, you're under the radar, so I don't think it would affect you if you decide to get into sampling and, and, and make that as your basis to the music and, and begin to be able to understand what those musicians had to do and what they had to learn in order to do the music that they did. So um, now you're on the internet, you got your, your your pages up, you know, you could do your video or whatever. You know, now I think, you know, it won't affect you. Now, if you get this big, big major record deal, um, sampling will affect you because in order to be with a corporation, they have to be checked by another corporation, which probably owns the sample in the first place. Um, so don't make sampling make you lazy. But I would tell you this is that when people sample those great songs, maybe they're compensating for what the radio station is not playing. But don't let it make you lazy. You know, do your thing, do it creatively. And, and if you actually get on top of the music, um, try to understand the sensibilities of the artists that you're getting on top of. Believe me, like if you happen to take something from some Indian guru and you happen to talk about something else that's contrary, then I don't think that's a spiritual match that, that will work. Uh, it's like oil and water. So um, try just to understand what you're taking. Learn about the musicians. Learn about the labels. Learn about music before, you know, before rap. Learn about rap at its beginnings. Learn, learn if you're going to get into production, know what you're doing. Know the records. Know the musicians. Know the instruments. Know the singers. Know the years. You know, I mean, the first recording is 1877 by Thomas Edison. And that's Mary Had a Little Lamb. So you ain't got to go back to the 1400s and the 1500s. You can go back to 1877 and then do audio research from there. You know, that's your whole area of sample as far as audio recordings are concerned. So the sky's the limit.